Salutations, fellow metalheads. Welcome to the channel where the beats never stop and the good vibes keep flowing. Uh, we're back with our second Buy Me A Coffee request, and we're continuing with Halloween. Um, if you missed the earlier reaction to Hey Lord, uh, then make sure you go back and check it out. But right now, we're staying with Better Than Raw album and checking out the song Revelation. Um, we've got eight minutes here, so... Uh, We'll be reacting to the studio version, so let's strap on in. Uh, link to the original will be in the description below. All right, let's go. Another very interesting opening. All right, well, that was an opening. Uh, really, I don't even know. I was told when this when this song was requested that there's not a lot of live performances from this album that are of really good, high quality or anything. Um, that's why we listened to the studio album. This seems like a song that, uh, just from that opening, that would either open a concert just because that's an epic opening, uh, or be like the the encore opener. That was just really that was just really cool. Something I was not expecting from them. That was really really awesome. Uh, now it looks like we're going into some speed and power. There's so much going on right there. Uh, so many little intricate pieces in the drumming there. Little accents on the ride cymbal that if you blink, you might miss. Uh, so much intricacy going on with the guitar rhythm. And then you can hear the bass right in there every now and then kicking up with some high runs. This is, this is really cool. And then contrast that to the vocals, which are... Uh, sustained notes for the most part uh, sustained speaking and it's not fast or anything it's just very very opposite of what everything else that's going on you put it all together it sounds really cool uh, I think we're going to be in for a ride if we got s six more minutes of this that is heavy Listen to that, that bass.
wow, that transition. Jesus, we went from like power, speed, hard, aggressive, halftime. Really, really nice transition there. Holy crap. And then back into this. Nice. I don't want to stop because it's a solo, but I'm going to talk about it. Yeah, uh, I don't know where that was, so we're just going to go back. Uh, what I wanted to talk about right there is that sol a, the solo was fire, but then, uh, once again, the drums changed. Uh, and now we're in a triplet double bass pattern. The whole thing is now has a feel of two. So we've gone from speed metal 4-4 four, four, to halftime 4-4. Four, four, this could still be 4-4, four, four, but it's got a two feel, especially when you add those triplets in there. Very cool. And like I said, that soul was fire. I don't know if we went far enough back, but if not, I'll keep going back. But yeah, and this is just aggressive as hell. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. That whole section right there reminded me of like this is gonna sound really weird, but like a Disney movie, like one of the older Disney movies, where the uh, the wicked witch or the evil person is like singing their their plans of death and destruction for the main protagonist. Uh, just the style that, that was in was very theatrical and it's really cool. In general, so far with this song, I'll, except for the voice, there's, to me, I wouldn't know this is Halloween because they are very aggressive in this, in their, in their music. Uh, the guitars especially, it's a lot more heavier than power speed in some sections. Obviously, there's some sections that's power and speed, but... This is like, uh, this is really cool. The way everything changes is so theatrical. Let's keep going. <laughs> As I said, now this is what I would expect from Halloween. Holy crap.
a little effect going on in the back. This is also probably may, may come out a little weird, but the whole arrangement of this song is very, uh, to me, I would compare it to like 1998 falling into Infinity Dream Theater. Uh, just the it's got like a Derek Sherinian feel to it, if that makes any sense. Those of you who know know, but the arrangement and the, the keys and all this stuff and the different factors sounds like something that could be on that album. Uh, this is a really cool arrangement overall. So many, so much going on. I love it. Oh. Nope. Ah, we might be going to a different part of a solo, but I don't care. We are going back because that was just too epic. Now this is so contrasting of a solo compared to the earlier one. What the heck? Now, uh, we gotta catch that transition again. This is... <laughs> what? If, if I didn't know better, it, there's definitely parts in here that are Halloween. But there is also, like, the overall feel of this song is very proggy. And not as far as like weird time signatures, but just the different parts going through here. This is like an opus. It's blowing my mind.
That was a cool rudiment. Don't even know where to begin. I better figure it out real quick. Cause let's talk. <laughs> Halloween's revelation. Jeez, what can I even say? I'm going to go on and call this a prog opus. It is Halloween at the beginning and Halloween at the end. Uh, with what we're used to their power speed metal with this amazing totally different sound in the center um, that I'm going to go as far and call it progressive. Uh, very, very reminiscent of some of the more, you know, my popular bands of 1998. Holy crap. Was that good? That was, there's, I just, I don't even know what to say. <sighs> there was so much going on in that song and it just, every turn I was not expecting from them. And I loved it. Like I said, very Derek Sherinian in some of those sections. I could definitely hear him on keys doing some of that stuff. Uh, if you know, you know. Uh, wow. Very impressed. I, I'm glad that song was requested because that needs to be performed live on a decent quality because I want to see that. That is that is freaking nuts. I, if you couldn't tell, I really loved it. All right. So if you really are looking to help out the channel, the easiest way to do that is just hit that like button and then share this video with all your friends. Um, if you did enjoy it enough, by all means, hit that subscribe button, but only do that if I really earned your subscription. If you would like to have any suggestions for future reactions, uh, just put them down in the comments. Uh, I do read every comment, so whatever comes in, I'll definitely will see. Don't forget that I also stream on Twitch. We do live concert streams and gaming over there. So if those are things you enjoy and want to participate in, jump on over there, give me a follow, and we'll we'll hang out. Uh, Discord is a great one-stop shop for all the information about the channel, past, present, and future. Come check us out, see what's coming up in the channel, participate in the giveaway when they happen. Um, it's all fun over there. Great community. Come hang out. You can unlock the full potential of your support with our Buy Me a Coffee page. Now, this is where you're going to find the ultimate channel experience, whether it's unedited, unrestricted videos that YouTube blocked or otherwise removed, um, or any of those live concert streams that I did on Twitch. They're all over there waiting for you. Plus, you have the power to help guide the channel in the direction you want it to go by making requests and having your voice heard. Um, so don't wait any longer. Come support us on our Buy Me a Coffee page, and let's continue this extraordinary journey together. Links to all my social media down in the description below. Pick the one or the ones that you enjoy, and I'll be sure to see you on them. With that, I hope everyone has a great day, and I'll catch you all next time.